drunk. Maybe our blood sugar's low. Maybe we just drink some peyote juice. Who knows? And that, and that was me. So I walked into the Hogan, right? And it always seems like, you know, I have that medicine man. It's always real strict. And I walked in there, don't walk around on that side. So I was like trying to take a step. I don't know which way to step. Walk over here on this side. Go around. But then you're totally confused. You're like, this way? Go the other way. This way? And I'm starving, you know. And I have no... I'm, which way do I go, you know? This is where I found out that Native women have all kinds of patience. Because my wife-to-be is sitting there, you know, just ready to be married. Just dream catcher earrings dangling right there. Oh, man. Oh, just ready. And our, and our son, he's three months old and he's in a cradle board. Just tied as tight as can be. His head just hanging there like that. And he's the reason there's a marriage in the first place. <laughs> and so I finally got the right direction, right? And, you know, I'm starving. Man, I'm feeling kind of drunk. I have this look on my face. My relatives to be, my in-laws to be, they're all talking about me. Look at him, he's drunk. I can't believe it. He showed up like that. They're mumbling, man, like a haunted house. <laughs> and us, us native men, we have no patience whatsoever. I was trying to get down in the kneel position after a while. Pretty soon, I just looked like Elvis standing there. <laughs> when you got the, all, all this in front of you. Yeah, pants is tight, contra belts tight, headbands tight, everything's tight. Even underwear is tight, right? <laughs> so I made, I made the ending noise. I was like, eh, eh, eh. finally got it. Because there's no chairs in, the, in an ending ceremony. You're yeah. on the floor, man. You gotta, you gotta sit ending style. Yeah. What is that anyway? Ending style? style is this right here. <laughs> This is where I found out us native men, we have no patience whatsoever. We're trying to be all holy, but yet everything is hurting at the same time. We're trying to find our comfortable spot. Oh, oh, oh. And we start imitating everything that we have ever seen. We start getting in the strippers position. After a while, I look like men of the Navajo just sitting there like this. I look like a dog with his butt itching. <laughs> and I had one of those medicine men that prayed for it ever. Oh man, not one of those. He even prayed for the oil that were in the trucks of everybody that had showed up there. He said, like, thank you all here for coming out and everybody here and all the trucks that they came in and the oil that lubricates all of one of their engines. Oh, I will be with them wherever they go. <laughs> Even the ants that were roaming around on the ground, do you thank you for all these ants too right here, these little creatures right here that, that make this home so lovely. And he got up and he stepped on one of them. <laughs> and at this moment, all I could think about was, I'm hungry, food. <laughs> I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> and I looked at my wife-to-be and I saw her dream catcher earrings. It's discipline over here. I was like, she must be daydreaming about night things in the middle of the afternoon. Just ready to be married. I kept looking at the Navajo wedding basket. I was like, man, I want to eat that so bad. I want to go home. I wish I was that aunt that he stepped on. I look like a starving res dog. Looking into the Navajo wedding basket. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Finally, they said you could eat it. Unity, yeah. Moved her hand out of the way and I started eating it. <laughs> Running down my whole shirt. What had happened was my legs had fallen asleep. <laughs> From the waist down, you know in a ceremony you're supposed to be like that, but when your legs fall asleep, you can't move. So they said, everybody get out now, it's all over and done. She grabs my arm on this side, she's like, honey, let's go. <laughs> I thought she said, you owe me money. I was like, huh? <laughs> How much? 
I could not feel nothing from the waist down. I was like, oh no, not now. And then, and then that one tradition, they say that when you get old, you always rise by your butt. That's exactly how I got up right at that moment. Looked like a lineman, huh, for the Broncos? Yeah. I looked like the lineman for Albuquerque High for like this. One side was shaking, right? And I was starting to get the feeling back in my legs. So I was doing this. And I was holding her hand. You know how it feels like when the feeling starts coming back into your leg? Such you a start tickle. smiling. Such a tickle. <laughs> <laughs> I was staggering around. I looked like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> I couldn't get my bearings. I'm starving. I just got married. This must be what it feels like when you're approaching heaven, when you see the lights. Or the buffet. <laughs> and that's how I celebrated my 10 year oh my wedding anniversary. And you want to renew that? <laughs> oh man, that's cool. That's good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> It's great though, man. It's great being married. That's why we always ask how many married people are here. So yeah. I'm going to ask the question again. How many married people are here? <laughs> Do we go ahead. Yeah. Right. All right. There we go. We're coming, we're coming together more and more. We're all married. <laughs> well, us, um, us Native Americans, man, we're starting to, to um, hit the national scene. You know, especially in TV. The, the reality shows. There's a show called Namo Cops. We have seen now, yeah. I thought that was my first start, when I first saw Neville Cops, I got, I was kind of got embarrassed, man. I was all like, shit. <laughs> shit, Neville Cops. <laughs> I was embarrassed for the man. It wasn't bad, I was just like, shit. <laughs> I was like, embarrassed for our whole nation, man. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, then at first I was like, shit, Neville Cops, I ain't gonna watch that, man. I, was, I see those guys every day at Bachelors, man. <laughs> I don't call my wife when I'm in trouble. Hey, should you record Navo Cops for me? <laughs> Every episode, record it. <laughs> so I'm watching it, man. I became a fan of Navo Cops, man. I think the reason why we like it is because we see familiar things, you know, familiar places. And, you know, you even see people you know sometimes in there, man. I should go to high school with that guy, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but there's some things, too, though, that we, that, uh, we know just does not happen in the tribal police force, you know? Like there's one episode where some guy walks off into the desert, you know? And then Navajo cop is following his tracks. The narrator's like, she's using the ancient Navajo technique called tracking. <laughs> that was the moment right there. Shit. <laughs> tracking. Shit. <laughs> you don't track. They won't even go look for you. <laughs> go just pull it in front of your house. Where's she at? Walked off. Call me when he gets back. <laughs> well, the whole res ought to be like a reality show. I know, man. I want to know why that none of us were on the first episode of Hoarders. Because <laughs> everyone knows your name is a hoarder, and you're a hoarder, and he's a hoarder. You open your chunky man, you open your garage man, the chunk falls out. And you're over at the flea market trying to buy more chunk, you know? <laughs> My table man looks like a little mini flea market for mice. <laughs> so much, it's not even a table man. This is the I know, man. We, should, we ought to have our own reality show. Yeah, and then just, just look at any woman's purse. <laughs> I guarantee you, man, you see women, right, trying to look oh, at yeah. her, fish out their keys, keys at Walmart? Keys at Walmart. That's the, that's, the, that's the most interesting thing you can ever see. Is a woman digging for her keys outside of Walmart. That's gold right there. She'll put her purse on the hood of her vehicle and start taking stuff out. <laughs> After a while, 